All right, so we'll call the meeting to order. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I reviewed the minutes. We had a chance to review the minutes. Uh, yeah. You want to make a motion to approve Yes, uh, so that we accept the minutes to okay. the last meeting. And I approve also, so All we'll right. do that. Oh, yes. Uh, number three. Um, is an update from Alex. I had emailed but have not heard uh, back uh, from our contract person, agent. Um, mm -hmm. I looked through my records and the last communication that we had was June 30th. Uh, and no communication that I've, I've texted and reached out with email and have not uh, gotten a response. Peter, you left a... Yes, <clears throat> so, I, so I sent uh, the contractor a, uh, a text on Friday the 30th, I uh, know, Thursday the 30th of June, and then I also left her a voicemail, see so Thursday happening yesterday morning at 9.30 to go touch base. So um, it's possible that she's either ill or she's on a two-week vacation, three-week vacation, whatever. Uh, but there's some follow-up that needs to be done right. on, on a number of issues. Right, which is not getting uh, not getting addressed. Right. I did also look back through the email communications to look and see if there had been any information given about a vacation, but there there wasn't any. So because I thought maybe you know I'm old. Maybe I just forgot. Uh, but I think that we 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 don't we don't really know. I did um, speak with Carolyn uh, last week, and then I spoke with her. I think yesterday. I emailed with her yesterday, um, and she thinks that um, we would do well to consider. Uh, um, putting the job description out <coughs> for the 18 hours a week. And I thought, thought 19. I know, but somehow it got changed to 18. Uh, that we would uh, be better positioned to find somebody who might be interested in the job. So I think we should... I'd like for us to discuss that tonight. Yeah. And if it's something that we want to do, I will meet with Jen next week from HR and make a specific plan with her about where we are going to post uh, the health agent opportunity because so far we're not we're not getting any we're not getting any luck with the nine hour posting. Mm -hmm. So I think I'd like to broaden where we're posting it. Do we post um, at UMass? I don't think department. Jen ever did it, so that's why I want to go help. Uh, when I, I'll sit down person to person with her, and we'll make a plan. Yes, yeah, so re HR did reach out to the School of Public Health at UMass by way of email and by phone. Uh, I haven't been in the office that much this week, obviously, because it's the holiday that I wasn't in yesterday. Um, so I don't know if UMass ever called her back. But as of last, whatever, last Thursday, last Friday, she hadn't heard anything back from UMass, which would be a likely pool of candidates, uh, or a potential pool of candidates for, again, the health agent position will be, you know, five hours, 10 hours, 20 hours, whatever. And so, again, I don't think, I don't think she's heard back. Okay, so I, you know, I will, if, if it's something, let's, let's talk it through, if that's something that we want to do. I'll meet with Jen, I'll talk with her. The other thing is I, I think the Mass Association of Health Boards may have a job board, or they may have some ideas uh, for us about where we can post the job. So depending on what we decide tonight, I will take that on uh, to make sure that that you know, gets done next week. Because it's July and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's in the budget. The right. full 18 hours is in the budget as right. of July 1st. Right. So, so you know, we just, so... We need to find somebody. We so, do. 
We have to have somebody with who's experienced. I mean, we're not in a position to train somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, it's posted at thirty dollars an hour. Uh, it's well, not. It's not benefited. What about sharing a person with another town? Is there a health agent in another town? There works are. Hours there are. I reached out to all of my colleagues because we have meetings like once a month or so, yeah. and you know their people are all full time. They did say that they would ask around yeah. uh, and get back to me if they found anybody. I haven't heard back from them, but I, if we end up changing it to the 18 hours a week, then I'll reach back out to them. Yeah. Um, so, so it sounds like shoots very like small leverage. Do they have? I'm some telling you, they all have full time. Time. They have full time yeah. people. Yeah. To me, it seems. Yeah. A lot for a small town that doesn't have as many restaurants or anything like that. Right. I don't know what they're doing, but they're they're yeah. employed full time. So Well, um, but they say the health agent also gets involved with uh, in most towns the review and approval of septic tank septic tank or septic system um, plans and applications. So if you're in town like Hadley where half the town is on public sewer system and the other half of the town like where I live it's all you know the septic tanks in your front yard kind of thing um, so, so that health agent also or a health agent needs to be well versed in those kinds of uh, transactions or those kinds of applications so you know you mentioned Shootsbury as an example uh, I have family in Shootsbury and it's like you know 99% you know, wells and septic systems and stuff like that. Um, so again, so presumably the health agent in that town would be, you know, busy, you know, with people that are looking to either upgrade their system or they're looking to, to sell their house and uh, it to be in compliance with Title Five, they may have to do some, I guess, some upgrading or some rework. Right, and also, you know, the, the health agent, you know, they, depending on the town, I mean, they may be arranging the flu clinics. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of functions of the board mm -hmm. of the board of health. Um, so if you think that there's only one employee, really, no matter how small the town is, you know, there's work to be done. Plus, in our town, it's a little different. You know, we have uh, camps, so that we move on some. Right, we have to do all the camp camps. inspections, um, the Title Five inspections, the food inspections, of which number of food establishments. So everything from Stop and Shop to uh, Whole Foods to the Korean Kitchen. Uh, mm -hmm. we, 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 here we have over 150 yeah. Yeah. food so, so So our need is, is uh, yeah. so, so the health inspector we hire, we want them to be really versed yeah. more than maybe what they would need to do in, in a smaller town. Where even the bulk of their work, as Peter said, will probably be taken up with stuff that we don't, you know. So, what are your thoughts, Margaret? Um, I think we should post for, for the for the absolute, absolute, Peter, absolutely. Peter, what are you? Uh, um, I, I would go ahead also, and, and the, one of the reasons being that I, I think it's easier to recruit somebody right. at eighteen hours. <laughs> that was Carolyn's point. Versus you know eight hours. Right. Yeah, so you have one person doing 10, one person doing 8, and it's like, okay, so who's doing what? And now right. you manage two people instead of one, or, you know, right. two, two contractors instead of one. You know, let, let's just post it for, you know, the full 18 hours and let the current contractor know what we're doing or what you guys are doing. When is that contractor's contract? Ending? June 30th. June 30th. Yeah. Okay, so presently they're without Yeah, so, so at this point it's either renew or not renew. Okay. And, and again, it's up to you guys because I don't vote, but again. Okay. It, now, it, do we have to do that, like, could we keep that contractor month to month until we find somebody else? Um, or do we have to sever I, our ties to that contract? I, I, I don't think you have to sever any ties. Okay. But I, I, that's a conversation that you'd have to have with the contractor. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it's much, much harder to get an eight-hour person. People are either working full-time or they're not. Right. Um, and I think 19, 19, 
18 hours could be a tough position also okay. to fill because it's not full time. Right. But I think if we can offer more hours and make it worth right. someone's right. Right. effort, all right, well, let's try it and we'll see how yeah, it happy. goes. Yeah, I think that's terrific. Uh, it's already posted on our webpage, okay. on the Board of Health right. webpage. Uh, it just got posted, I believe, in the town website because I got an alert about that. Um, fact, let me see if I can go Peter, on can you draft a letter for us, an uh, email or letter, however we need to communicate with our contractor? Sure. To see if we can go month to month. Who's the contractor you have now? Who does um, whatever? Like who does things like the septic uh, review? So, so, so it's a, it's a health inspector from another town. Oh. So, so who we, already works full time. Yeah, and and that person already oh, already works full time. So like you would never ask somebody from like Carl's that does septics, Carl's excavating, or people that are in that business to do review. Um, you know what I mean? So, like, so they they would it, typically. It's a great question. So typically, they might actually be sending in the application. They might be submitting the application on behalf of the resident of the property owner. Um, interestingly, we do have somebody that does some work for us uh, for the board of health, you know, for the town, who is a retiree of Carl's estimating. Yeah. Um, anyway, and he's he's been around for a number of years, and so. He knows the lay of land. He knows the industry. He, he knows what to look for. So he, he, he actually conducts all of our park tests. And then he also goes out and he observes um, when a septic system is being installed or being updated. Like we and pay he, him. Yeah, and he's, yeah. And he, he's, he's another. But he con. can't sign off on yeah. um, the paperwork. Our health agent. Yeah, the health yeah. agent needs to sign off. And to that point, yeah. I did get a call from Alan Weiss, who is right. uh, an architect. Does septic design. Does septic, yeah. Yeah, he's so, the engineer. And I spoke to him tonight, actually. And he said to me, he's got it sort of sorted out. Um, he's reviewing plans. Uh, and, and he said, so he has uh, our health inspector's number, and he's been dealing directly with her. And he said, everything is working out fine. Good. He said, things have been really smooth. She reviews and signs off on the plan. The question he has for us is... Um, you know, in the past, he would drop off the paperwork, Peter, and he's asking if he can basically email that stuff to us. And I said, you know, I think so. I don't see any problem in that, rather than having to make a special trip into town. No, so so he's already uh, sent, uh, he's used email with me, and what he does is he scans the document. So I'm getting essentially a PDF, if you will. And then what I do is I look at it and say, okay, I don't know anything about this, and my background is not septic systems. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I automatically then forward it to the, the contractor who's doing the health agent work. And he seemed to, say, you know, what he said was um, she's signing off on stuff right away, like within a couple of days. So he said things are going smoothly. Mm -hmm. I didn't press him on any further nope. issues. Good. Uh, but he seemed to be happy. He just wanted to confirm it would be okay to email the documents, and I thought, well, that's kind of what we're trying to do anyway, streamline our process uh, and sort of do away with some of this paper stuff. So I said I would get back to him on that, but I think if we're all in agreement that that works yep. and our health inspector is signing off and, you know, they'll, I mean, it, it's... Well, that's the way it should be. Yeah, yeah so, so all, all the contractor has to do is uh, when she gets it forwarded either from me or directly from Alan, uh, from Alan Weiss, all she needs to do is sign it, scan it, and send it back to, you know, to the parties involved, so that we have a copy, right. obviously, in the Board, Board of Health office. Um, and so, again, I mean, from, from an administrative viewpoint, the less paper, the better, because yes. I don't think we want to be, right. keep yeah, buying. Right. So buying the answer is yes. Yes, okay. yeah. and I will. Yes. All right, so I will talk with uh, Jen next week. I'll set up a meeting with him. Great. And Peter, you, you'll draft a, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, good. Uh, Board of Health vacancy. So 
initially Jane had said that we should get the um, applications uh, here and then somehow and that's been changed right but that's been changed right um, I met with Carolyn and Carolyn is taking over the process right. which is great right. so anybody who's interested uh, sends a CV and a letter of interest to Jennifer right. the Board of Service and licensing and um, I think they've set a deadline for July 20th uh, but whatever works for them, I mean, we're not pressured, we're not in any rush, whatever the process is. Uh, and then there will be a joint meeting of the select board and the board of health where the candidates will be, I guess, asked questions, interviewed, and then there will be a vote and the select board, the select board has a vote and Margaret and I have a vote. And that will be how the new person is uh, determined. And that's, you know, that's, I know that that's the rule. Uh, you know, that's according to the law that we have that joint meeting. And they went through that at the Mass Board of Health meeting that I went to. So, so that seems to be on track. And basically we are out of the loop uh, for planning or receiving applications. So that's. Who's Jen? Her. Is Jen work over here? Who What's is, that? Who's Jen? Jen. Then we have two Jens. We have Jennifer. Yeah. Jennifer Sanders. Jennifer Sanders James. Who is the board of service and licensing, and she sits in the main office there okay. with Carol. Yeah. So, so she's also the administrative assistant to Carolyn Brennan, who's the town okay. administrator. Yeah. And then we have Jen. Who is the new HR person? Okay, and so she over at the town. Too? She's yeah. at town. So yeah, when I say I'm going to talk to Jen, I'm talking yeah. about Jen HR. HR. Yeah, and it gets yeah. a little confused because they both yeah. sit yeah. On, the, on the second floor. Yeah. Oh, okay, so usually a second. Okay, number five update. We don't need to do that. We've just discussed that. Uh, I'm putting on my sunglasses. Yeah. So. Permit link, Peter. Uh, so. Current link, um, the vendor uh, failed to show up uh, for training uh, last week. Um, he wanted to reschedule for July. Um, I told him I'm way too busy in July, which I am. Um, so best case, it'll be August. It's, it, it is what it is. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, he, uh, he sent me a note, I think it was Thursday last week, saying, yeah, I see it's on the schedule for me to come up to Hadley on Friday, but there's nobody else in the office, so I'm here. So, okay, well, I'm not here in July. I'm, I'm too busy, blah, 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 and let's do it in August. All right, so be it. So, okay. you know, it is what it is. And permit link is, um, is the uh, kind of like online database software. You've already talked about it. Yeah. Where you can okay. sign yeah. up to have permits. Everything's going to be online. It's yeah. Everything, so we can send out renewals and remind people. It's, and it's great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. And we'll also have a database if we need to send out public health information to our business. You know, nobody has a list of, there is no database here in town of our businesses. I, I, I'm going to list in Excel. <laughs> wow. so which, which is not the greatest and the best way to manage a database. I, I just, I have a, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Like, I know um, Tommy Quinlan does, is the building inspector. Yes. Right. I know a friend of ours, Paul Miller, helps with electrical inspections. Can't we have, like, Tommy Weinzick head of, like, doing the septic thing? Like, people that have been in the business do a lot of these jobs that can help us, or somebody who's been in the food business be in the, you know, help us with looking at food establishments. I reach out to people that have done it all their lives, that are in their 50s or 60s or whatever, that, you know, might want to do something for right. 15 hours a week and help the town. And, that, and that, that, was, that was the initial plan where we had a contractor doing 10, uh, 10 hours a week. 
and then we're budgeted as of July 1st for a full 18 hours. So again, so as uh, Susan and, and Margaret already mentioned, um, so we post them a position for the eight hours, hoping to attract somebody like you just mentioned. Yeah, somebody really, like, no, but I'm saying like call people, get on the phone and say, hey, this is available. You know, I know you don't probably look at the website or look at our um, what's happening in the town, but these and things are available. And we right. Need help. Oh. Right. And, and, and we need help. Right. And we leave we leave that to the HR person. That's. That's and there are, are certi- the other, there, there are certifications, certifications yeah, I gonna, that people I was gonna need. Yeah. Say we're going to need. People but we're, I look certified. at it like we're a little, we're behind the. I feel like we need people now. I mean, you guys are right. can only do so much, right. you know. Yeah. I mean, but for food inspections, we need someone certified in that, and that's, you know, that's, you know, that. That's a harder position. There are training for, courses there's a that training they take. They have to yeah. get, you know, there's like qualifications. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's not and like, you know, uh, like Rich Wilka goes out for us and he actually inspects when the perks are done. That's fine. But, you know, and that's great. That's exactly what we want. I mean, that is. You can't sign off on things? No. No. So that's where we're running it. We need people who are. I mean, uh, there's law. You know, yeah, there's there are rules. regulations. So, there's so rules. for instance, you know, you need to know, you know, what temperature cooler bays have to be kept at, and and you know what the temperature of the water is that comes out of the tap, and and I mean, there's just stuff about the regula- The regulations are there's food safety certification yeah. detailed. Uh, they're just enormously detailed. You can go on mass, um, you know, uh, Massachusetts uh, uh, laws and, and, and pull up documents like that on that. So uh, there might be people who've been in the food business, but we need people on the other end who can actually go out and certify that these inspections. Are, you know, there's that level that if they're if they're certified, great. Yeah. Yeah. It's a level of professionalism that the state. Yeah. It's required. Yeah, right, requires. What, else, what happens if you can't find people? We'll find them? somebody. But how long have we not had somebody? We have somebody now who's, yeah, somebody, who's doing so, it. Yeah, He's somebody, doing somebody's something, doing but we're falling behind. Is the point. We're how long have we not had? Our restaurants have never been inspected oh, yeah. uh, according to the law. Yeah, because it's hard to keep up with everything. Well, they just didn't have anybody to do it. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 you know, up until, what, a couple of years ago? Well, I, I for just first couple of years, they were contracting out with an agency that could do it but wasn't charged and, you know, didn't, couldn't do the follow-up. And the thing is, you know, a lot of this stuff, I was talking to one of the um, health inspectors in Amherst, and she said, you know, it, it, it's not just knowing the regs, it's also going out and establishing a plan of action yeah. with them and sitting down with them. And she said it's, a lot of it is about establishing relationships mm-hmm. with the, uh, the restaurant owners or, the, you know, whoever the owner is so that so that they become more pro you're educating them they're becoming proactive it's not and just they're going out clinically right, they're, right. they're not just going them. out there with a clipboard yeah. and you know right. doing xyz um right. so that's, that's hard the sort of very you know you need someone who's who's well it's a profession i think so. we'll find someone but the, the, yeah. the effort the search effort has been less than robust yeah. right. i will meet with jen and we will right. We'll, we'll work on that. And as we try to really make this, um, you know, really sort of bring it to a level of professionalism that we feel that the town deserves, right. then, you know, it behooves us not only to follow the state regulations on this. I mean, you want to feel safe when you go eat in a restaurant. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And you want people to care about your town. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And we happen to have a lot, a lot of restaurants. Yeah, you do. And swimming pools too. We have some swimming, swimming pools. Swimming pools have to be with, right with um, we the hotels. Get inspected yeah. also. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. never ends. Yeah. Yeah, they they get inspected by us as well. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, again, the health agent goes out as a little uh, pool test kit, you know, testing their pH and yeah. all that good stuff. And uh, but otherwise, again, the the pool. If the pool is not in compliance, there's an action plan, and, and 
until the action plan is completed, the pool can't be used. Kind of thing. You know, but the life, even you know, you know, the rope on the on the buoy that you throw out has to be a certain. Yeah. Stuff yeah. Stuff you wouldn't have thought of. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. um, all right. <laughs> Update on the bookshed. The bookshed is tentatively scheduled to be installed this Tuesday. I don't have the time window um, yet, but Patrick Kennedy from the sanitary from the sanitary company that does the landfill, he's going to go there. I'll go with him. Uh, and he wants to supervise the installation so it goes exactly where... So, so who's doing the installation? Uh, low sub subcontracts. Oh, okay. Uh, and the shelving, everything has been purchased. So once the shed is installed, we and will... Including the paint and all that? Too. What's that? The paint? Including the paint and no, the I, I okay. I All right, it. so yeah, we still have a few little things to yeah buy. Okay, uh, and I'm trying to get people. We're so we're we had money for uh, community needs, and uh, we got a shed to put up at the. Land, do you go to the landfill? Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. anyway, there's about 600 people in Hadley who use the landfill, and we'll have a book exchange there oh. uh, where people can just leave books or take mm -hmm. books. Uh, and uh, so I'm looking for people to help me. Uh, but so far, I only have one of the guys from the library. But we'll see, maybe more people will step up. So people are just going to, like, take a book and maybe leave the book? Yeah. 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 You know, like a little kid section. Yeah. You know, so, uh, it's, you know, keeps everything, keeps trash out of the landfill. Yeah. And, uh, you know, people get to change their, everybody's always looking to get rid of books. Or, yeah. So, yeah. So that's uh, the bookshelf. Uh, all right. Uh, I have one other uh, something else. Uh, I got an email from Joe Comerford about uh, uh, somehow the state is starting making available to towns uh, wastewater testing for COVID. Um, so I'm in the process of of talking to them. Um, I think if it's not going to cost the town anything, it would be it would be very interesting for us. Are you uh, talking with uh, Joe Comerford's office? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, so she put me in touch with the person who's doing it, who's arranging it for the state. Um, but, uh, you know, right now, the wastewater is the best uh, measure that we have because... Can't, you can't go by reported testing results because People might not I read report. today a bunch of epidemiology stuff uh, in a journal, medical journal, 90% um, of the positive cases are not reported anywhere. So we really have no idea hmm. how many active cases there are. Right now, this B5 variant is uh, like 65 or 70 percent of cases now and the waste it's going up um, so it would just you know if it's a service that we could get and it didn't cost the town anything it would be interesting to to be able to follow that data and we'd see how we're actually how we're doing here in town as far as the number of cases you know it's also, yeah it's a great way to to trend right what's happening right. uh, with COVID well, it's not going to change anything. No, but it, but it's it will tell if, if the rates are spiking. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not going to change people's behavior. No. But it would it would be interesting. It will change my behavior. So, um, so I will keep you updated on that. 
the other thing is we got that phone. First of all, I missed, I got behind on voicemails because when the IT people, they when they came, they did something, and now all of the voicemail that gets forwarded to me, it's all going to my junk mail. So I have to retrain myself every day. I, I go through all the Board of Health email every day. That's one of the things that I do. So if there's a voicemail, I listen to it, and then I triage it. If it's for the health agent, I send it there. If it's for Peter or for Margaret, but one person has to do that. So um, I didn't look at my junk mail for like four or five days, and then I looked yesterday, and there was like six voice messages. So that was why I was sending stuff out. But one of them was from our friend Jason Johnson. Uh, and he wants to set up a meeting and he works for some clean water something. I don't know what he works for. But uh, they do testing of Lake Warner and like the Connecticut River for E. coli mm -hmm. and um, cyanobacteria we have get blooms in Lake Warner which is really dangerous kills dogs and it's not good for people either uh, so you know they you can post signs when there's a bloom to tell people you know keep your animals away from uh, this body of water and you know don't go swimming in it um, uh, so he he had worked out something with Emma that we were buying the test kits now what happened with that money how long did we get that continuation Jeez. from the uh, I have to go back and check the notes this was a long this was quite yeah. a while ago um, you know the, I don't know if it got continued till July 1st uh, yeah I'll have to I don't know right. I'll have to check okay the other thing is I know he wanted to meet with department heads and people have just been so flat out in, in, in the town with other yeah nobody's big particularly issues. interested to meet with him and um, you know I mean they've got a lot on their plate you right know, with vacancies and it's other issues going on it's a lot going on jobs their own jobs you know right yeah they're jobless other things they right. sure they right. do so you know he's been wanting to get town officials together on this but I that's that's been really really difficult and it's not likely to happen just yet. I mean, there are more immediate fires that need to be put out. Um, the testing was done every other week. Um, samples would be collected. He would leave it out, and I think a FedEx truck would come by, pick it up, process it, and then you know, he would get the data. Um, how long that money lasts, I don't remember. Right, if you could find that out. I will. Also, Margaret, we do have water test kits, right, in the Board of Health office. We have a whole box of them. So if, would you call Jason and... Yeah, that's right. We have some in the, uh, one of the uh, filing cabinets. <coughs> How many roughly do we have? Yeah, okay. I, I, have no idea. I know there's a box of test kits there that Anna had purchased. So the test kits are to test for... What? Cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria, but not like anything rust or that kind of stuff. I can't hear. Rust or anything like that. Like, you know, I was listening to somebody's was it like, Sharon what Parsons? I'm sorry, rust, I rust. rust or things. R U S T. Rust. Yeah, yeah, like like from pipes or. Oh you know, right. Like bad yeah. Pipes. See, that's the thing. Like, we don't real like part of this is like. Like the Department of Public Works, our, our DPW, they test that water, you know, the water that comes in our pipes. Yeah. They test that test? and they put out a report every year, so we're yeah. not involved in That's potable not water. No. No. Oh, no. Okay. This is, these are bodies of water. Oh, bodies right. of water. Right. It's for like swimming, swimming or animals. Right. That type. Right. Even the Connecticut River, although we do some testing there, I think that's handled by more state agencies yeah. than, than us. Right. So there can be a little bit of an overlap, but um, but we only have, I think, two bodies of water. Mm -hmm. Right, we have Lake yeah. Warner and then there's and something the, the reservoir. Reservoir. 
right. which is near Atkins. Right, behind it, right. And that's yeah. actually a non-swimming, I mean, there's signs posted, no swimming, and right. that sort of thing there. So, t I guess talk to Jason and tell him we do have some test kits, uh, and if you can find out if that money is still there, uh, we can ask him what he would, you know, what he would like. Yep. Um, yep. Right. I mean, he kind of dropped out of. We hadn't heard from him. Like, yeah, and then last we had year sent, we and I had trying to get we were trying to get him. in touch with him. I he had, had called the emergency. The, the, yeah, he was yeah. out in California. So, I had contacted right. the, the website, and he's the only one who runs that website and updates it. So, you know. Uh, when family issues arise and there's really only one person doing something. Yeah. You know, the problem, volunteerism is, uh, is, is not very, uh, it's a dying thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he gets so. paid, if that's a job for him. Yeah, but, but I, think he, I think this is also a passion for him. Oh, it's I don't definitely think this a passion. is his full-time job. It's, no, it's definitely a passion. So, um, you know, yeah. so he's taking it upon himself to do this mm -hmm. as opposed to state function. Right. Right? We'll talk to him, see what he no, wants, well. and see, you know, I'd like to be at the systems to him as much as we can within, yeah. within the scope of, uh, yeah. And if he wants a town-wide meeting, Margaret, to add, tell him to get in touch with Carolyn. Okay. Um, you know, I'll show up to the meeting. I, you know, I'll go to the meeting happily. Uh, all right. Uh, do we have permits or per tests to to that have to approve? Yeah, we have three permits that you guys need to uh, approve or reject. So, one of them is a tobacco permit. That's a re it's a renewal. <coughs> for uh, Big Y Express, which is at, I think, one of the gas stations on yep. Route 9. So mm -hmm. they're already permitted. Their permit um, runs out June, ran out June 30th. Um, they sent the permit, the application in. They sent the check in. That you know, um, so they should be good to go. Same thing with uh, Gibbs. Um, I guess that's kind of a cross street on the other side of, of Route 9. I think it's called something else now. It might be Mobile or something, but Gibbs owns uh, that gas station and the convenience store. And again, they're looking to renew their tobacco permit. And again, application is complete, sent in the check. And then the third uh, permit is um, a food permit uh, application from the paper store, which is at the Mountain View, or Mountain Farms Mall. My wife who seems to be a member there, so she knew all about the place. But in any event, they apparently sell packaged food. I've never been in there. Where is this? At the mall, and one of the What's malls, the, name of it? Uh, the yeah. paper store. Oh, okay. Uh, I, sort I've of kind of like what Home Depot sells at their checkout yeah. counter. That's sort of you know. All it, of a sudden, it, I it, want it, that it's, it's M and M. It's, yeah. it's all prepackaged, so yep. I, I, I'm guessing you know candy cookies. Yep. Maybe soft drinks, so on and so forth. So again, so they sent their application in. They they paid. Um, they should be should be good to go. There's no there's no food inspection right. that needs to be done. Right. It's not like they're flipping uh, pancakes yeah. or burgers or anything like that. So so uh, so those are the, those are three that you need to vote on. If you approve them, uh, I'll email email their permits to them tomorrow. And they'll all be effective uh, July 1. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Vote. Okay. Uh, our website. Um, saving the best for last. Yeah, so I cleared off all the COVID stuff. I was in touch with Jennifer Sanders James. So, sort of not HR, um, and she said basically I could clear off any information I wanted to from uh, that sort of front page, which we had kept the ongoing running update of COVID and you know all that. 
Um, there are some areas on the website where they're published as separate pages, and those I can unpublish, keep them, but unpublish okay. them. But all that stuff that I had written, I had to really just erase it. <laughs> so I erased it all, and I just put the, up the fact that we were looking for a position for the board, I had to fill a vacancy for the Board of Health. Uh, all the sidebars still remain, and I update information like when Firestone had the bring your tires in, you know, oh, that's great. dispose of to. So those sorts of things, when I hear about them, I'll, I'll post that. Um, I think the newest thing, and I'll wait until after this is a done deal, will be the bookshed. Right. I'll post that up on our on our website. So it's cleaned up of that ongoing Thank scroll, yeah. um, and that's about it. Is there anything you want? I, I can't think of anything. No, I only want to talk to you about Ellen Weiss, um, who I was in touch with today. Um, Who's that? Ellen Weiss. Oh, right, the, right. So, and everything he said is going very smoothly. Good. So, uh, that's it. That's all for my end. I said, don't rock that boat. Yeah, that's right, great. Right. Uh, Peter, do you have anything else? Yeah, I have uh, three things. Uh, number one, I know, you, I know you went to a meeting yesterday in yes. regards to um, young men's club yes. uh, events and asparagus festival. It's kind of a debrief or post-mortem. The follow-up meeting is on the 19th. Yes, I will be there. Um, are you going to that? Okay, yeah. all right, then I won't go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what I told Carolyn, though, is I would give her... Um, the financials in terms of what it cost us to do inspections and whatever, prepare permits versus the permit fees that were actually paid to us. So she has at least some numbers in front yeah. of her. Obviously, it'll cost you guys good. as yeah, well. Thank so you. Everybody's on the same page. Yep. Um, good, so I don't need to do that. Um, so I don't know if you saw the email from Carolyn, I think it was yesterday. Uh, with regards to uh, the town is uh, going through the vetting process and, and finding or looking for a yes. uh, legal counsel. Yes. So she's. I'm sorry, going what? She, new, new legal counsel. Oh, okay. So she so she's asked the um, department heads and board chair people to come up with some questions that she might be she might ask the people that have responded to the RFPs. So again, so I don't know if you had any questions that you want to send to her, uh, but one of the questions might be, you know, have you as an attorney or as a legal firm, have you ever defended um, a town's board of health in any, yeah. you know, in, in any litigation? That. You know, so getting back to our health agent, you know, God forbid somebody goes to whatever, Chili's, Wendy, you know, whatever, and they become ill with it. Uh, foodborne illness, um, what are the re repercussions or implications back to the Board of Health? So, you know, again, that might be a question that we might want to get on the docket. We'll do. I mean, not not that we expect that to happen, but... Um, and then the only other thing I had is, you know, a date for the next meeting. Um, we, we have uh, somebody that wants to apply for a permit, a food permit, and he wants to start his business in July. And I told him today that I think our next meeting is the 28th of July. But I don't know that to be true. So so I told him that I would ask tonight, you know, what our next date is. Are you going away? I'm away, yeah. Um, I come back, oh, wait a minute. I come back late on the 26th. Seventh, I believe I've got, but for some reason I've crossed out the twenty eighth too. So I will have to double check. So should we meet? Because uh, if I come week? back, I'll be in en route, and I'm not sure. It could be late on Thursday if that's the case, uh, which would make it August fourth. Okay, I think that's okay. We can go three weeks. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. So, uh, August 4th? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I mean, I, I, I've got it blocked off here as the 28th. I can mm -hmm. double check and get back to folks um, if, 
you want to try to do it the 28th. When do you, what's the 28th? Is that Thursday. Thursday. It's a when Thursday are you then? Well, I've got it blocked off for that so day. No. So, uh, no. but, but I, for, for some reason, I had it in my head that yeah, I was going to be tired or traveling. Or okay. Or let's do it August 4th. August 4th. That's yeah. four weeks. I mean, I'm okay with it if you guys are okay with it. Oh. Uh, that's, so, that's what's four weeks two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. The 21st. The 21st. So that's the same trip that would be part oh, of the 28th. Okay, right? Well, I, August 4th is fine. We can go for it. Okay, fine. Uh -huh. You know, if we have an a urgent permit, we can, we can call an emergency meeting. And well, it would be just you. And approve a permit. I'm saying over the next 10 days or Oh, whatever. so you're here next week. No, I have that uh, ovarian cancer. Oh, you're tree. gone. All right. Gone. But I will be available by phone, but I'm also in charge of doing the camp. Yeah. Doing oh, August 4th. There's nothing. So there's no, no, um, there's no emergency. Yep. August 4th is yep. our next meeting. It's fine that's with fine. me. That's fine. So that's why I, 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 for the, I'll be away from Monday to the What you're telling me is I have to go take care of everything. You do. You do. <laughs> for the next uh, couple of weeks, it's a lot of That's all I have. That's it. Yeah. Any, do you guys have anything? Do you? My only question is, so you're trying to computerize all the permits and stuff that you have, right? So I'm willing to help put in everything in the database if you want. So, um, yeah, so I, I would do that. So to, just to give a little background, um, the vendor um, has... Uh, entered what we had in our Excel database five months ago. I thought it was even longer. Six months ago, seven months ago, whatever, whatever it was. So there's data in there. I just haven't seen it mm -hmm. because they haven't delivered it yet. Okay. So, and I don't have the passwords and all yeah. that stuff to get in. So what's, what will have to happen is that once we go live or launch with this product, um, I'm going to have to go through the database and add whatever is not already in there, number one, and number two, what is in there, make sure that it's accurate in terms of, you know, who the contact is, uh, that person's email address, you know, is a different phone number, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. Um, and the biggest thing, as you might guess, again, is the food establishments right. up and down and down. Yeah. I mean, it's like Riverdale Street yeah. in the West Springfield. Um, so that that's going to be the biggest challenge, um, and nobody's been trained on this product yet. So Margaret and I saw a demo probably nine months ago, um, and, it, and it was like a very short, very like you know, okay, here's the high level, mm -hmm. here's what it does, so on and so forth. But the, the other feature is that um, the other feature that I like is today if somebody is applying for a food permit or any kind of permit that's managed by the Board of Health, they have to mail us a check. Mm -hmm. We want to get out of the check business. It's mm -hmm. 2022. Right. Um, so what we, what we want to do is go electronic. Um, and, I mean, we can pay our taxes today as residents of have electronically. Mm -hmm. um, but the food establishments, uh, you know, hotels, whatever, they want to do business with us by way of a permit, they have to literally mail us a check, which means I get the checks in the mail, I do something with them, literally hand carry them upstairs to the treasurer, she then does something with them. It's all kind of a manual process, yeah. which again is, as you guys know, that's kind of, you know, 1985. So, so that, so this software application will facilitate electric electronic submissions of payments as well. So, uh, and today we don't, we're not really set to do that. So the data entry we're hoping has, the bulk has already been done. We were supposed to meet with him to learn how to use the system. And that's what has been, um, very difficult to yeah. get that time in place. We thought we had several dates actually you know, yeah. in, in, in place and at the very last moment they've been canceled. So, um, that's what we're up against. Well, what I can do is I can give you my name and number 
And if you need someone to help you, that is give me a call. Terrific. That, that, that'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah. incredible. That, that, that'd be great. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah, because you, 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 like you probably, sort of probably Keith asked than I do. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, well, my, that's my, my incredible. Wife makes yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that'd be awesome. All right. Appreciate yeah. it. That's, that's all I've got. Nothing. And any that's other questions? That's it, I guess. No, I just, I, for me, I just wanted, to, for a fact-finding mission, I wanted to see what you guys do. There seems like there's a lot to learn and to see. I do want to get more involved. Um, my background is accounting, bookkeeping, running a business. That's what I do. So I'm not, um, you know, I'm not into medical field, but I'm sure there's things that I can help. Absolutely. With. So um, the next meeting, I just want to, I want to learn a little bit more and see, you know, you know, what I can do to help. Good. Fabulous. Great. That'd be great. It's great to have people yeah. who want to get back. Help the community. Yes, yeah. they can do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I definitely see my, you know, I'll just have to see what I'm good at helping you, or you might give me something and say, you know, you're not that good, or yeah, you are good. So. <laughs> yeah, you'll be good. <laughs> yeah. You'll it's be good. good. It's all good. It's all fun. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you so you. much right. for having me. We're going to yeah, end you. the meeting. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Nice meeting you. Nice to see you again. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, this is your business card? Great. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Nice to see you too. All right. Tell nice Brett I said meet. hi. Tell him to get in touch with me. I will. All right. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Much. Yeah, we're going to Are we uh, off? We, 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 have, we have to adjourn. Is it over? Yes. Oh, yeah, so we're going to adjourn the meeting? Yes, we're going to adjourn the meeting.